Hello and welcome to another Bad Comic Review. This time we are looking at Nancy Drew, Issue 1 from Dynamite 2018, written by Kelly Thompson, art by Gene Strong. I can't read that, I don't know. It, it's written like a serial killer note. Colorist by Thorina Farrell, letter by Ariana Mayer, and the editor was Nate Cosby. Cover was by Tula Latoy and Marguerite so Sauvage, Annie Wu, and Jen Strong. St. Ong, I don't know what the... Okay, so the cover should give you an indication of what you are in for, except with worse art. So we've got this kind of Scott Pilgrim art that is really disappointingly weird looking and tee so random. So we start out with Nancy Drew trying to free this goat that has a little cape on and it smiles of course and makes little hearts at her and its name is Mr. Godington and it's apparently a high school team mascot who was abducted by an enemy team and the with the help of the replacement mascot for the home team. So now Nancy blackmails him into becoming Mr. Godington's biggest fan because if he doesn't, she's going to tell on him. And then she has to go in the locker room and talk to her purple-haired, chubby, person of color friend and her person of color gay best friend. I don't know. It's pretty ambiguous and stupid. Well, then she gets home and gets a threatening letter, also written like a serial killer by cutting out all the letters from newspapers and magazines, that tells her she has to go home to Bayport because somebody knows what she did, whatever that means. So she has to cancel all her future stuff to go home to Bayport. And then she takes the train, because apparently that's a thing, where she meets her Duff, Bess Martin. For those of you that don't know, a Duff is your dumb, ugly, fat friend. Bess Martin, of course, is her bestie. And then there's George Fane, who's a girl, what? And of course, the sides of her head are shaved and she's got a black girlfriend. <gasps> she's a lesbian oh shock so they play that up for a while then it turns out they're of course immediately on board with whatever she's doing and then they meet the hardy boys at the north cliffs and of course the hardy boys are just these adorable nerd types and one of them has a crush on bess oh it's like hey bess hey joe mwah, mwah, mwah. yeah this is stupid then she goes spelunking to some cave for some reason which is never explained and then her rope is cut and she begins to plummet to her death and that's where the issue ends oh my gosh a cliffhanger this book was awful awful none of these characters act like the characters from the books they do not act like smart people they act like obnoxious jerks nancy is apparently incredibly arrogant She's been gone from Bayport for several years, yet they're all still in high school. So apparently she was like a middle schooler or maybe elementary school genius. I don't know. This is a bunch of hipster nonsense. Somebody did not read original source material to get an idea of the well-established personalities of either the Hardy Boys or Nancy Drew or Nancy Drew's sidekicks. Of course, I'm sure we have some gender swapping, but the stereotypical big fat friend and the lesbian with the weird weird shaved sides of the head it, it's just so trite like this is a paint by numbers of sjw book and it's they didn't even try there was no effort to create an interesting story here it is silly it, nancy blackmails a guy at the beginning which is ridiculous then when she is blackmailed she assembles a squad to go out and solve the mystery yeah that's no it was just dumb this was boring it was an incredibly fast read but yet there was a lot of talking and nancy Nancy does not understand analogies. And there's a, a bit at the beginning where she says, uh, she quotes, the more things change, the more they stay the same. And that becomes like a running joke. Like she doesn't understand it at first and then does later. It's really stupid and try hard. I would not recommend this book. I think it's garbage. I think this is a complete waste of a potentially good property that could be relevant to kids today and get old readers and new readers of the Nancy Drew series into mystery mysteries and crime solving stories and things like that this could have been really good but instead it's just more half-hearted attempts at writing with incredibly terrible art everybody is weird looking and kind of frumpy and ugly 
and just not appealing at all. And the goat thing was really dumb. So I would not recommend this. I think it's definitely a waste of $4. I feel dumber for having read it. And the cover is more talent than the entire rest of the book. So I would avoid this like the bubonic plague and shun it like a leper. Exile it to the edge of town where I would allow it to starve to death and rot away in its own squalor. So that's going to do it for me. As always, thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. And we hope to see you on the next one.